guys welcome back this is Arjana here hope you all are doing good so today I am back with another super quick mix media project for you all so uh, yeah to start with I took MDF uh, panel as a base and on this I adhered background chippies from expressions craft and since most of the space of this panel will be going to uh, get covered with the CD so I just added chippies around the CD as you can see here Next I place the CD on the panel using heavy gel medium and I also place another small size MDF base on the CD so this way our project will have a slight dimension on it and uh, to add more interesting look to the project I also took another star shape uh, chipboard design from the expressions graph this particular set has different, shape, uh, different sizes of stars in it so I just took them randomly and place it on my project here and there To make this project more beautiful, I use this beautiful frame chipboard uh, in the middle. So here, so here my base is completely ready to place the focal element. And for focal, I use Buddha head as you can see here. Next year I cover everything using black gesso so if you are new to mixed media gesso uh, is a thing which is must have in your stash it's a primer which prepare your project to accept any kind of medium over it so basically it creates a barrier between the base and the medium. Okay, so moving on, uh, next to color my project, I use iridescent metallic paints from Expressions Craft. So these paints are two-tone, means uh, same paint work differently on black and white background. Like here, say in uh, on a bottle, it says red and gold. Then uh, on black background, it will be red and on white background, it will be gold. So yeah, I just love the finishing touch of these paints they adds beautiful metallic shine onto your project.
uh, to highlight my project i use snow pearl and gold metallic shade from the expressions craft i took very little, little amount of paint on my brush and added it using dry brush technique on my project so uh, this creates beautiful effect and whatever uh, you know dimensional part is there on your project it will get uh, highlighted using this technique And to give more interesting look, I added splatters of uh, white gesso. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. I will be back with another quick and easy tutorial. Till then, bye-bye, take care and happy creating.